feel really, really good about, you know, a couple of different things. Number one, having five individuals is, uh, you know, it's very good for our program. The, the program that's growing, uh, you know, and every year we seem to have a little bit more of a presence on the national scene. Um, this year, uh, we've only got one senior in the group. Uh, the other four are all underclassmen. Uh, so that bodes very well for the future of the program. Um, and these five individuals, Austin, Lewis, uh, Paul's Luke, and Carolina, all, you know, the best kind of athlete, very coachable, uh, very hardworking, uh, high levels of integrity, high, high character type kids, you know. Um, these are the kind of kids that you love to coach these are the ones that you want the very, very best for, and they're the ones that go out and get it done. So it's, a, it's the best time of the year for us. Last year was, a, was I guess, like a good tune-up, you know, just being there in the long jump. And this year, go, going in the decathlon, it's, it's totally different. You know, it's like two whole days instead of spending it, spending the track instead of just one event. So that's a lot of fun. Um, and I, yeah, like I said, I've had a good season so far in, in the deck, and, and I'm ready to go. All my events are there, so it should, should be good. Yeah, it's, it's just so sweet to be able to say that, like my senior year that I get to finally go. Um, been disappointed in the other, the other times that I've been at the regional meet and especially back in Jacksonville in 2012. Uh, jumped the right height but missed it on attempts. Uh, I kind of came into this meet with a chip on my shoulder and had something to prove and it turned out to work for me that I finally get to advance to this next round. A lot of people, a lot of coaches and from other universities have told me like they're, the place there is amazing because they have been there previously and, and just say how amazing it's going to be to compete actually there and I'm just excited. Like regionals was a little bit of stress, you couldn't really relax, you couldn't really do a jump but right now like it's going to be just fun. It's almost, uh, I can't even like describe the moment, I mean knowing from last year to this year just the amount I've improved and my coach said from when he recruited me that if I come here my first year might not be what I expect and the next year it's going to be every year it's just going to keep getting better and the amount I've improved, it's just like, makes me so excited for <laughs> that I actually qualified to, re to nationals and I'm excited for it. I broke my hand last year so it was definitely a setback, so I wasn't sure if I'd still be able to do it, but um, this is my goal all year. Um, for the last couple of years, uh, I set out of high school that um, my goal is to make it to the national championship uh, as a freshman and um, I'm blessed to have accomplished that. Uh, I'm really excited, uh, I'm blessed to be here. Uh, I've never been to the West Coast, so it's really exciting to see such a historical place. Uh, Eugene's track city, um, everyone talks about it, and uh, I've never experienced that, so it'll be fun. You know, the advice I give these kids going into nationals is the same as I give it to them the first time they get to regionals. Getting to the meet is oftentimes more difficult than uh, placing. Uh, you know, most of these athletes, perform at the same level that they did to get to the NCAA championship, they're probably going to place higher than what they're ranked. And uh, the thing for us is not to get starstruck, not to be consumed with who we're around and, and what name is on the uniform next to us. Uh, we just got to do our job and stay focused. Uh, have a chip on our shoulder because nobody expects Memphis to be in there. And uh, we're going to go mix it up. And these guys are hungry. Uh, they're fired up. They're motivated. And uh, as long as we don't get uh, starstruck, so to speak, we're going to be just fine.